Hello, this is Patrick Liu again and welcome back and let's continue with inserting text and images into the index page. Okay, now I'm back in the index page from where I have stopped in the previous video. Now I want to insert some benefits in the form of bullet points onto the right of this image here and it's over here. So to do that, let's uh, right click on the image and select image properties go to the appearance tab here and under the align text to image click on the down arrow choose the wrap to the right click OK right. now let's go back to my notepad to copy some contents to insert into composer okay highlight this chunk of text right click select copy go back to composer and control V to paste the text inside here now let's uh, highlight all this text choose the font that you like I'm going to choose Arial increase the size bold it then go to this option called bulleted list click on it and all the text now becomes bulleted points right okay let's give some spacing right okay to make it nicer okay you do this by hitting the shift plus enter okay one more now let's uh, well let's make the image a little bit larger so that it can actually uh, match with the bullet points okay now as you can see that the text or rather the bullet point is back against the wall of the ebook image let's give them some spacing okay right click choose the image property go to the appearance tab here now this time we go to the spacing option here and below here in this box left and right so we key in 20 pixels click OK and well it's how you got a spacing between here so it looks better right OK let's uh, go and put some more content into this quiz page let's go to my notepad copy this all this text here right right click select copy go back to composer control V to paste all the text inside here okay now this two line of text okay we highlight it choose the font that we want to use as Arial center it okay to the middle of the page increase the size okay now here I want to increase this line of text to one size bigger and I want to change the color of the text 100% free by choosing the color here click on red ok click ok bold it then here the next line highlight the migraine relief which is the title of the ebook or e-report go and change the color click oh, red here click OK and then increase one size and bold it so this is to give a bit of prominence right now the text down here let's highlight it go and choose the font that we want that's Arial and let I also want to shift the text slightly to the right so I go to this indent text option here click on it All right okay let's now put in my photo here now I believe that every web page should have your photograph inside there now this is to brand yourself as well as to give visitors to your website an idea who is behind 
the uh, web page eh? so to do that let's uh, click on the image go to the folder here click on my photograph type here photo click OK type in my name alright otherwise nobody know who is Patrick Lowe <laughs> okay now let's go and copy the last line of text from my notepad here that's here okay highlight right click select copy go back to composer control V to paste it now I want to read this line of text to you if you are unable to access this free video course please click here to email me for assistance so we need to highlight the click here go to the link option here and then key in the email address T R I C K at yahoo.com of course this is not my uh, email address I'm just doing it as an example to show to you after that check on this uh, box here the above is an email address and click OK so as you can see if you hover over here you see that this is an email link alright so next uh, okay we are going to finish off the squeeze page by uh, putting in the image of the footer here let's go to the image icon here click on the folder click on the footer image here type in footer click OK so now you have all the image contents and everything else you needed uh, for the index page the only thing is uh, here we have to insert the opt-in form because here is the call for action over here so I'll do this in the next video meanwhile let's go and save whatever we have done by clicking the save button now let's uh, let's preview the thing here by clicking preview here now that's how your squeeze page looks right okay so I shall stop this video and in my next video I'm going to show you how to insert an opt-in form in the index page so so thank you very much for spending time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.